Hi, I'm Cesar Luna with Common Sense, and I love geometry. Oh, oh come on. I just love the power it gives me. I'm here to talk about how your students can uncover the power of geometry. This is our fifth EdTech Quick Take, Land of Ven versus Dragon Box Elements. Let's take a look at these awesome and very different geometry apps. If you're looking to really deepen your students' conceptual understanding of geometry, then this episode is a must watch. Why? Because I said so. Whoa, look, circles. But seriously, if you're looking for a great app to support your students' learning of geometry, then listen up. One great thing about Land of Ven and Dragon Box Elements is that they're both really engaging. The combat-paced Land of Ven, as well as the more puzzle-like Dragon Box Elements, both motivate through engaging gameplay. And in both apps, the learning is embedded throughout, not used as a requirement just to get to the fun. Land of Ven applies some basic geometry concepts as students defeat juice-seeking monsters. Players get a chance to visualize how shapes are created between points. In the game, players protect magical juice by tapping on monsters. And there are monsters aplenty coming from all directions with straws at the ready. So, as kids fight off monsters, they get better at drawing and understanding shapes. A quirky snail introduces each new skill, and students can practice before returning to battle. At certain points, the snail checks students' work in a brief quiz. Welcome to the Gate of Queen's Cup. Use your head, young master, and touch the correct shape. You have to pass before you can get to the next level. Let's talk about Dragon Box Elements. Here's a quick job description. Rescuing your army from the shapes they're locked inside of so you can fight off monster invaders. Dragon Box Elements is designed to help young students discover geometric concepts. The app teaches through experimentation and exploration. It can be a great intro to a concept before you offer any direct instruction. Where Land of N tells you upfront about the shapes you're working with, Dragon Box Elements introduces new powers that help students discover the properties of shapes. And here's my favorite. Ah, congruent sides of isosceles triangles hard at work. It's exhilarating! Dragon Box Elements focuses on exploration without time limits, making it accessible to students at many different levels. For younger users, the game might benefit from some audio reinforcement. But otherwise, this kind of discovery-based pedagogy is pretty robust throughout the game. As you can see, both Land of N and Dragon Box Elements are great apps to get your students hooked on geometry. In terms of devices, Land of N is currently available on iOS and Android, while you'll find Dragon Box Elements on iOS, Android, and Kindle Fire. Also, keep in mind that playing either app on a phone won't be ideal. You'll want a bigger screen to see the shapes clearly. Overall, Land of N is great for practice and offers solid student support. Though at times the shapes can be a little hard to make out. There isn't a teacher's guide, but it's pretty straightforward. You'll get through it fast and your students will love every minute. They might even want to bring it home. But if you're looking to help students build a strong conceptual understanding, go with Dragon Box Elements. With over 100 levels, it's bound to keep you going. It could require more teacher support, but there are parents and teachers guides on the developer's website, as well as great video walkthroughs on the YouTube channel. Of course, with either app, be sure to give your students opportunities to show what they've learned outside the game. So, which geometry app is best for your classroom? Let us know what you think and check out more reviews of all the best ed tech tools at Common Sense Education.